In this tutorial, I'll show you how to animate the default cube. The window at the bottom of the default layout is a timeline window. To animate the cube, we have to insert at least two keyframes into the timeline. The timeline by default has frame numbers marked along it, and the frame rate by default is 24 frames per second and by default the total length of the animation is 250 frames. If I change that to end at frame 50 at 24 frames per second that would be approximately 2 seconds of animation. To set up keyframes I have a rhyme which helps me remember the steps involved and the order to do them in. The rhyme is go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. Go to frame, I want to insert a keyframe at frame 1 and I'm already in frame 1. Make change, I'm going to drag on the tip of the green arrow, the green axis is the Y axis and that will change the Y location of the cube. Insert keyframe, I'm going to click the object button in the properties window to display the properties of the cube. I'm dragging to make the window wider, right click on the Y location and insert single keyframe. I'm clicking on the little arrow to increase the current frame number. If we look at the timeline there is a yellow bar that represents the keyframe we set up at frame 1 and a green bar for the current frame. I'm going to insert another keyframe, I'm going to apply my rhyme, go to frame, I'm clicking the jump to last button to go to frame 50, make change, I'm dragging on the tip of the green arrow to move the cube, insert keyframe, I'm right clicking on the Y location, insert single keyframe. We now have two keyframes and Blender will automatically work out the location of the cube for the frames in between the two keyframes to produce an animation so that if I click the play button we see the cube move. The process of calculating the location for the in-between frames is called interpolation. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to use the graph editor to alter the interpolation.